Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, produce and engineer my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this podcast is all about spirituality and metaphysics and shadow work and so, so much more. So for this video, obviously I'm not wearing makeup again because it's super hot here in the UK for this week. And there's just no way I'm going to put makeup on. So please excuse the major bare face while we film this video. But I want to talk about being highly sensitive in this world because I feel like with all of the childhood conditioning that gets piled upon us when we become adults or even throughout our childhood we can start to take on a lot of shame and a lot of different kind of beliefs and emotions about ourselves and how we feel about ourselves and then also how we feel about the surrounding external world around us so when we become adults we have a lot of these emotions and beliefs about ourselves or emotions towards ourselves but we don't really understand why or where that originated we just know that we feel that way like you might feel like you don't like your body or you might feel like there's certain things and certain flaws about yourself that you really just don't like and you don't know where that actually originated from like when did you start hating your body you know and we don't really understand exactly what created it and obviously if you actually trace it back you will come to understand that it probably stems from childhood for the majority of people and I feel like with how insane this wonderful world is and how much corruption and chaos and so many negative emotions that we experience which can you can perceive that as like the beauty of the world is that we experience negative emotions but obviously in a lot of the conditioning we're taught to hate them and we're taught that feeling negative is bad so with all of this brainwashing that is piled upon us you can tend to carry a lot of shame towards who you are and towards being who you are and towards your flaws and towards the things that you're passionate about the things that you want to do if they go against your family or if they go against society and what the norms are and stuff like that so there can just be a lot of shame that we take on for being ourselves and for existing I know this is a belief that I've held for a very very long time and it's something that I'm starting to unravel now and really transform is holding on to shame around who I am and what I'm here to do and what excites me and all of those kind of things so I just wanted to delve into it and talk to you guys about it a little bit more because I feel like it's such a fucking common thing unfortunately that so many people not only do they not like who they are or who they believe they are but they possibly don't even know much about themselves or have any idea or have even delved into what they're passionate about like maybe you don't even know what you like you know because we've been conditioned to perceive our path and our future and what we're here for in a certain way that's not necessarily authentic to who we actually are it's something that our parents taught us or the school system taught us or our job taught us or just following along with the mundane tasks and being in survival mode and needing to pay the bills like that kind of um daily lifestyle can lead us to basically shutting off our magic, our creativity, our imagination, our intuition, you know, it shuts off a lot of these incredible feminine aspects of everyone, like whether you're a man, woman, whatever, you have both masculine and feminine energies within you. So like it shuts off the feminine characteristics and things and only really focuses on action and doing and surviving and hustling and grinding you know and like just burning yourself out and working as hard as possible just to be able to put a roof over your head just to be able to put a roof over the oh my god I can't speak just to be able to put a roof over your head so I just want to put this message out there to anyone that is feeling shame or that is unsure of what they want or unsure of who they are or doesn't like who they are, that this belief is not actually your fault and it's also not actually yours. It's not the truth of who you are. Like, do you really think that source or your soul or your higher self or however you want to view higher aspects of you, do you really think that they are sitting there or however you want to view energy because obviously it's light like we tend to personify these things and say they're sitting there or they're in the sky or whatever but of course it's just light and it's just energy but do you really think that that type of energy that doesn't feel low emotions that doesn't have a human ego the way that we do is thinking and contemplating 
on how unworthy you are. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just not a concept that can be grasped without being human, which is essentially part of the beauty of why we've even chosen to incarnate is to experience that polarity of like feeling shame and feeling any kind of low emotion because we're human and we're here to experience the full spectrum of emotions and that includes lower emotions. And of course, there's a raise in consciousness right now and people are starting to utilize different ways to raise their vibration like meditation and yoga and all kinds of sound healing and stuff like that. Like, of course, we can utilize different practices to help raise our vibration and to try and keep it much higher and to develop our home frequency of being much higher than what it was in previous generations like yeah it is elevating and it is getting higher but at the same time we're still feeling a full spectrum of emotions you can't block out shame and expect it to go away because that's just not how it works so I just want to put this message out there that even though you may feel these things, even though you may believe certain negative things about yourself and about your life and about other people, it's not actually your fault and it is your responsibility to change it, but it's not your fault that it exists and it's not your fault that society or your childhood or whatever your circumstances were created it, you know? It's not your fault that it became a thing and it's not your fault that maybe you're scared to be who you are or maybe you're scared to go after your dreams or scared to try whatever it is that you're wanting that is not your fault but the responsibility of course lies with you to be able to transform those things and that's a whole other story but I just want to talk about the guilt and the burden and the shame that we carry towards being ourselves and towards literally living the life that we want because so many people feel this way and especially when you're highly sensitive and you pick up on other people's emotions and you're aware when somebody is having a bad day because of how they act but also because you can just pick up on those subtle nuances that maybe somebody else doesn't actually notice maybe they're oblivious and they're in their own world and focusing on what they're doing but like you might walk into a room and see tons of different people and pick up on tons of different emotions and not be aware of the fact that it's not your emotion that you're feeling that you're picking up on other people's and when we are that sensitive to life and to energy and stuff sometimes the beliefs that we've taken on wasn't even meant for us like maybe nobody told you that you should feel shame towards being you but maybe you picked up on somebody else's shame of themselves you know and you thought that it was yours there could be so many different ways and so many nuances to life and to how we develop the coping strategies that we have but I just think the main point to understand is that none of it's really our fault it's not something that you chose obviously on a soul level, maybe you did choose it, but consciously here as a human being, as a child, when you were a child, you didn't choose those things. So it's not your fault that it happened. And it's not your fault that you're struggling. It's not your fault that you're finding it difficult. Even if you are taking accountability and trying to transform it, it's not your fault that it's hard. It's not your fault that you're struggling to do it. It's not your fault that it's difficult or that it's taking time. You're not doing anything wrong. Do you know what I mean? Like, even though it's difficult and even though um, even though you're trying and even though you might fall off and fall back on and all of these kind of things, it's not your fault that this life is hard and it's not your fault that you're highly sensitive. It's not your fault that you pick up on other people's emotions. Like, it's just you being you. And even if you decide not to do your shadow work, it's just you being you where you're currently at. And it's not something that you need to be punished for or belittled for, you know, just being yourself and doing your best with what you have, doing your best with how you feel you can, you know, trying to survive, trying to cope. That's okay. So enough with the self punishment basically and this is kind of a message to myself because I do that shit to myself all the fucking time and I'm trying to stop and consciously choose not to do that but it still happens and that's okay like I feel like taking the punishment off towards ourselves because the world does that enough to us we don't need to keep doing it to ourselves over and over again and just having a little bit more compassion towards ourselves along this journey because it is difficult it is difficult to do shadow work if it wasn't millions of people would be doing it you know like everyone would be doing it if it was easy but obviously it takes a lot to 
literally look at yourself, look at your flaws and your mistakes and look at how you would have done things differently and look at how negatively people have treated you. Like that is a hard thing to face and acknowledge. Like it's actually a massive ego hit to look at how other people have treated you and the things that you've tolerated and to look at the different ways that you could have behaved better. That is such an ego hit ego bruising, ego hitting type of thing to acknowledge. So you should really be proud of yourself for even doing this work because it's not easy and life is not always easy and there can be many difficult experiences that all of us go through. So like having a bit more compassion to yourself because you're here, you're trying to do the work, no matter what level that's at and no matter how much time you spend doing it, it really doesn't matter. The fact that you're even trying, the fact that you're even considering it is an incredible, incredible thing and you should be proud of yourself because you've come so, so far from where you were before and you're trying and you're doing so well and even when you fall off, even when you feel low, even when you feel miserable and depressed and complete despair and uncertainty it's okay you're still you you still get to be you and even if you're carrying tons and tons of shame towards yourself you're still working on it you're still aware of it being aware of it is like the key the most powerful thing that can happen and the most powerful switch to even begin to transform it so you're doing so so well and you'll come so so far and Think about how far you could actually be in six months from now or in a year from now or in 10 years from now. You know, so much can transform in that time and it's not your fault that these things have happened. You don't need to carry the self-punishing burden of that anymore and we get to have a bit more compassion towards ourselves whilst we navigate this journey with a lifestyle that we weren't taught as children how to navigate. The majority of people were not taught the tools of how to navigate this world. They were not even taught what this world is, you know? Most people were not taught what this world is, were not taught how to process their emotions, were not taught to pursue our dreams. We were programmed to go in the school system, go in the job system and pay the bills. You know, for the majority of people, that's what we were taught. So it is not your fault that you don't know how to process your emotions or nav navigate this world in a abundance type of mindset way, you know. So we can take the punishment off, take the punishment and blame game off because we don't need to blame other people either. Once we are aware of what caused it and who caused it, then okay, we can accept that, we can forgive them, we can forgive ourselves and focus on our own inner transformation and cut off whoever we need to cut off out of our lives, you know. It's not about the blame game, it's just about no longer blaming ourselves because we didn't create this on purpose, we did not cause this and especially as children and the fact that you're willing to even try and transform it is just such an incredible thing that you should be so so proud of yourself so I really hope that this episode was helpful definitely dm me on instagram or comment below or you can text or whatsapp me my number is in the description box below if you have any video ideas or you just want someone to talk to my number is in the description box and I also send out inspirational motivational videos and pictures and quotes and things as well on whatsapp so yeah all the links to my music my social media my jewelry and everything else about me is in the description box below too and i will see you in the next episode bye oh, wait, come on, buddy.